Hello everybody. It's been a while since I've had the opportunity to address you. Uh, and let me start by saying thank you. The staff at Gosnold really make Gosnold such a special place. And it's because of all of you that we are here today and we are doing the good work that we were doing. So thank you again uh, and keep up the good work. So I wanna take an opportunity to talk about this past year and COVID. So it has been a challenging year for all of us. Um, and with the variant surfacing again, um, this may be a difficult fall and winter for us. And I just want people to be aware of that. So let's continue to do the good work we're doing. If you haven't had the vaccine, please take the opportunity to get the vaccine for, your, for you, your family, and our patients and your coworkers. Uh, it's the best way to help all of us. Really the reason for this video is really, I wanna clue people into what's been happening. And I know there's been a lot of rumors out there and there's been a couple articles in the paper, but I really want you to hear it from me. As all of you know that we are in the process of converting uh, Katamit into a 33-bed co-occurring disorder unit. This is a program that I have looked to develop for the five years that I've been here. Um, and we've had many attempts to do this with little success. Um, it is a much needed program um, on the Cape. It is a much needed program in Massachusetts. And no organization is positioned better to do this than Gosnold. We are the experts in treating uh, the substance use disorder population. We will be the experts in treating the co-occurring population. I know that, I know that because of all of you. Unfortunately, as part of this process, um, we had to make a huge sacrifice for Emerson and Miller. Um, I want all of you to know that that was not done lightly. Um, those were incredible programs and they helped thousands of people over the years. Uh, the staff at Emerson Miller we did an incredible job working with that population um, and it was really hard to say goodbye to those programs. Um, I want to take an opportunity to thank each and every staff member who worked within those programs, particularly Martha and Angela, who led those programs for a number of years um, and just really spent a lot of time making sure that we were treating the patients the most appropriate and respectful way and getting them to where they needed to be. So thank you for all of you did. But as I say that, we turn the corner. We're about to treat a more acute population, and a population that needs these beds. The Cape Cod needs these beds. It's the ability to treat patients who have both an addiction plus a, a co-occurring mental disorder. So we anticipate the program will open up in the spring, barring any um, obstacles that we may encounter, um, but we think it's gonna be okay. We're gonna hire 60 new staff. Uh, we're gonna change the focus of Gosnell just a bit. We'll continue to be the experts in substance use disorder. That's what Gosnell is. That's what we've been for 50 years. Um, but we're gonna shift a little bit. We're gonna treat a population that has not been treated down on Cape Cod and really has not been treated effectively in Massachusetts. So join me and let's do this together. So finally, I wanna say, um, remind people of the Employee Appreciation Week that's coming up. It's the week of September 13th. It's an opportunity for the senior staff and all of us to thank you for the good work you're doing. Um, there'll be breakfast and lunch at various sites, and I plan to attend each and every one of those. Um, and my staff will be there as well. So it's, an op again, an opportunity to say thank you for the good work you're doing. Um, and I hope that everybody can participate in those. Um, it's really, and we didn't get to have the Christmas party last year, but it's an opportunity to say, Thank you and um, thank you for all the good work you've done. So I hope to see you all there.